getting the whole diamond look today. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a Fenty Face Friday video. They recently came out with the brand new Diamond Balm 2 as well as a little roll-on liquid highlighter and we're going to get into all the details of the new product as well as going over the whole Diamond Balm collection with Fenty Beauty. So starting off with the main star of the show, I took it out of its packaging, but the packaging is stunning. I don't know if it's going to do justice in this lighting, but I did take a video outside because it is just such pretty packaging. I'm obsessed with this. This like duochrome pink silvery color. And it also has the same coloring in the actual product. But this one is the Diamond Bomb 2 All Over Diamond Veil Hollow at Me. And this is $38 and it's absolutely stunning. I did take a video of it outside to give you guys a better look of what this looks like outdoors and the actual duochrome that it does have. And then this is the Liquid Diamond Bomb. It's a roll-on liquid highlighter and it's $28. I know I kind of was a little bit confused but it has like a little perfume kind of roll on and you just yep, roll it on your skin. And then they also came out with a little teeny tiny little baby kabuki brush. This is $20 and it's literally the same as the regular kabuki brush but just a little tinier so this one's twenty dollars and the full size is thirty four dollars and then looking at the original diamond bomb i have beaten this thing up i love this as you can tell uh it is not so dome shaped anymore i use this all the time but this is the diamond bomb one or it's called how many carrots and i did take a video of this outside even though it wasn't like the most pretty video it, it helps a little bit. So what it, one of my questions was how different is the Diamond Bomb 1 and the Diamond Bomb 2 when you swatch them right next to each other and I do have a video of them but basically the Diamond Bomb 1 is pretty much a bunch of little silvery white flakes that are very glittery. This new Diamond Bomb isn't as glittery as the original one but it definitely has this really cool pinky peach kind of reflect to it i'm a little bit disappointed that it's not as glittery as the first one it doesn't have that kind of wet look to it and then as far as the liquid highlighter goes i wanted to compare this to the body lava in texture and also like their glitteriness and I did take a video of those outside as well. This is the Body Lava and Who Needs Clothes. And it is kind of similar coloring to the new Diamond Bomb 2. Surprisingly, it has that same kind of like peachy pink reflect in it. But as far as like texture goes, this one is a lot more glittery. It's more like the original Diamond Bomb. And this one does look like a diamond bomb too but this one has a little bit more of a moisture to it like it's still you can feel it more on your skin longer this one dried up pretty fast i was actually pretty surprised by this so if you're curious on like the texture wise they have pretty much completely different textures and looks to them if you like the body lava and you were hoping this was like the body lava it's not really but if you love the diamond bomb and you want something a little bit more liquidy then you might like this and then the last little bit of the diamond bomb collection that i have is the fenty beauty glossy bomb in diamond milk and it's literally almost the same as they're literally almost the same color they're so pretty oh and i also have the diamond milk on my lips today getting the whole diamond look today so now i really want to put the highlighter on my cheeks and i also want to put it on the inner corner of my eyes to see the whole difference of what they look like on your skin all right so i'm first gonna do diamond bomb on this side and i'll zoom you guys in 
in a little bit, but I just want to do far away and then close up. I'm gonna load this brush up and put it in my normal highlighting spot. I didn't put any blush on today because I didn't want to manipulate any kind of coloring with the highlighters. So there is the Diamond Bomb on my cheeks. Ooh. I mostly use the Diamond Bomb as like a topper highlight. I don't really use it by itself, but if I have like a blush on or something like bronzer all over, I do like to go in with the Diamond Bomb and it gives it that kind of wet look from afar. And then now I wanna take the eyeshadow brush and pack this on my inner corner of my eyes. You can use this all over your body. All right, I just cleaned off my brush and now I'm gonna go in with the brand new Diamond Bomb 2 and put it on the other side here. Doesn't really look like it's really picking up on the brush, but I wonder if it's because of that duochrome. Oh yeah, you can see that duochrome a lot more on your face. I picked the right eyeshadow colors for this highlighter today. Oh man, yellow and pink. It definitely looks a lot more glittery on my cheek than it does than it did on my arm when I swatched it out. So that's a little bit interesting to note there. And now let's put this on my eyes. Oh, that's really pretty. All right, one more look from afar with my eyes and also the difference in my cheeks. And now I'm gonna Zoom you guys in so you can see what it looks like up close and personal on my eyes and my cheekbones. This is the original Diamond Bomb and then this is the new Diamond Bomb. Hopefully it's picking up everything. I'm trying to move my face around in different angles. <laughs> I love the shifting colors. Like you can see it on my lid. It's like yellow, pink, yellow, I love duochromes. And then the last little thing to test out is this new, this thing you gotta keep shaking it up. It settles so easily. But this is the Liquid Diamond Bomb. We're gonna test this out. Uh, maybe on my collarbones. I'm gonna put a little bit right here and over here. I'm not really good at putting highlighter on myself. I mean, it does make it a little bit easier because like with the body lava, you just gotta squirt it and then blend it out. But this is a little bit easier where you can like roll it on and then buff it out. Realistically, I kind of hope, I kind of wish that they came out with these earlier in the summer and not towards the end of the summer because like how often are you going to use a body glitter you know what i mean i mean i guess like you could use it for like halloween if you're doing like frozen or something like that but as far as like being glittery and showing off you know what i mean i want to know what you guys think if you like the original diamond bomb better or the new diamond bomb and i'll also insert some videos right now of what each side of my face looks like outside in the sun so you can get a better idea of what they look like. But let me know which one do you like more? Do you like the original Diamond Bomb or do you like the new one? Do you like the kind of duochrome colors or are you just good with having the silver glitter? All in all, I think you guys all know what my opinion is. I'm a huge Fenty Beauty fan and I am going to continue collecting all of the Fenty Beauty stuff regardless. So. I'm pretty happy with everything. I am obsessed with this new packaging. Oh my God. I love this. Like, I don't know if you can even see it, but like this packaging that changes colors is so pretty. And I I'm pretty excited to use this. Oh, I wonder, I wonder if I could put, ooh, I'm gonna put a little bit of the liquid one on my face right here. I wonder. Does it work on your face or no? I'm just gonna dab it. Oh, that's intense. It does feel really wet on your face. Woohoo. Yeah, you can tell now that I've put the liquid highlighter on my face, you can tell where it's kind of sticky just a little bit, but it's basically the same color as the original Diamond Bomb. I kind of wish I came out with two of these though, like one with the original Diamond Bomb and one 
with the new one. Oh well, I'm not the creative director of Fenty Beauty. But that is it for this video today. I hope I let you guys in on some new stuff today. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see my last Fenty Beauty video, it'll be right over here. And if you want some more videos suggested to you by YouTube, it'll be right over here. And my face will be right here where you can click on it and subscribe to my channel.